Hi, good afternoon. This is Sister Cheryl, and I uh, hope you all are doing well. Um, welcome to anybody new here, and new subscribers. Um, if you're new here, I want to tell you I love you and I thank you so much. Um, if you're new to my channel, you're not going to hear unbiblical nonsense. You're not going to hear uh, things that stray off the Word of God. And I'm not part of this New Age cult that uh, my sister Paul Marie from Spirit of Blessings said on her video yesterday. The Lord has spoke to her the same thing he spoke to me. There's a huge New Age cult of false prophets and prophetesses who are giving Gnostic extra-biblical lies from the pits of hell. And um, people, I have warned uh, all I can, can, excuse me for stuttering, um, I'm warning and I've got another warning today. Part of this false cult that's out of uh, any any word the Lord said any words you get or any doctrines that are outside of the word of God are from Satan okay I'm going to address this one that keeps going around and around and these people have many subscribers this has happened now three times men and especially women saying they're part of the 144,000 the enduring that are uh, sealed in the during the seven year tribulation, which is Jacob's trouble, not church's trouble. I want to read you the word of God on who the 144,000 is. Now, you can either believe Jesus Christ who wrote the Bible, or you can, uh, you can agree with the false prophet and false prophecies, prophetesses that are demonators, Jesus told me on YouTube. So you can, choo you can choose to believe who you want. If you have wisdom in you, the fear, fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. If you really fear God and you fear your judgment day of the Lord Jesus Christ, he's going to judge you by his word in the Bible. You better fear God and what Jesus has to say and don't try to please men. Better stick to his word. Who are the 144,000 in the book of Revelation which is, uh, they're sealed after the rapture. Let me read that to you what the word of God says. Revelation 14, 1 says, And I looked, and a lo, a lamb stood on Mount Sion, and with him a hundred and forty-four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Revelation 14, 2 says, And I heard, a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. Revelation 14, 3. And they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne. And before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn the song, but the hundred and forty-four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. Revelation 14, 4 describes who these men are. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed among from among men, being the firstfruits unto God and to the Lamb. It's pretty clear. It's pretty obvious. Um, I use the King James Bible. I understand many are using other Bibles. I believe the NIV Bible is corrupted. I believe the safest version to use is the King James. And you can fight against me with you want that. That's okay. But this nonsense about women are part of the 144,000. This is a total trick of Satan. They're not men and women. Jesus Christ describes very clear who they are. Jewish male virgins not defiled with women. Does anybody not understand what a virgin is? You've got women who are on YouTube 
who've been married and had kids and they're say they're going to be 144,000. Are you serious? <laughs> Folks, please, please do not follow these people. Please just trust Jesus and his word. I beg you. I had a dream last night about the rapture. The Lord is messaging me the rapture could be very, very soon. I know a lot of people are saying that, but we're getting down to the wire, folks. If you're listening to lying, deceiving spirits, if you, you want to be a part of the 144,000, you're not biblically qualified. Number one, you have to be left behind and you're going to miss the rapture. The 144,000 don't show up. They're not sealed by God until during after the rapture. Rapture happens around Revelation 4.1. Do you really feel like you're so special? You want to be left behind? It's a trick of Satan to get you, to puff you up in your pride, to make you think you're so special that you could be 144,000. It's a trick. It's a prideful, satanic trick of the enemy to get you desire to be one left behind so you can be special to God. Jesus told me he's no respecter of persons. We're all equal at the foot of the cross. No one is better than anybody. The only time that you're going to be rewarded for anything you do is at the judgment seat of Christ. Jesus told me to take the example of John the Baptist. John the Baptist was busy baptizing people and doing the work of the Lord. When Jesus came on the scene, John the Baptist said, I must decrease, but he must increase. You decrease and Jesus will increase in people. Don't draw your people, draw, try to draw yourself to your people to you. You want to draw them to Jesus Christ so they can get saved. If you care anything more about people, and also I must, my friend, uh, uh, he's, well, not my friend, but my brother in Christ, Gary, Bear 049, brought out uh, the false, uh, the false teacher on YouTube. I'm going to name her name because I, I, I said something about her last year. Her name is Still Small Voice. I'm calling you from the Lord Jesus Christ. I am telling you now, she's not listening to Jesus Christ, the real Jesus Christ of the Holy Bible. Jesus is not our earthly husband. Jesus, when we get to heaven, is not marrying billions of people. The marriage supper of the Lamb, he uses marriage terms, bride terms, terms that we can understand. He has a great love for us, but we're not actually marrying Jesus. Jesus is God and he is holy. He doesn't come down and swing in hammocks and dance with women down here on earth. Again, like I said last year, if you want to dance with a man, dance with your own husband, dance with your boyfriend. Jesus Christ does not come down and swing in hammocks and dance with women YouTubers. Still small voice. I'm going to name her name now. She's leading people into ecumenism and she's leading people into telling people to recite a Catholic mercy prayer. It's not a, not of the Lord Jesus Christ. She's leading people into Catholicism. She's mesmerizing you guys with her voice that lulls and seduces you in. She's listening to seducing spirits. Please, this is a word from the Lord Jesus Christ. Run away from these new age prophetesses on YouTube. No women are going to be 144,000. The Word of God. Jesus Christ is the Word of God. Do you love and honor and respect the Word of God? Jesus Christ is the Word of God became flesh. Please trust Jesus. I gave you the Word of God. You can either trust Jesus Christ and His Word, or you can trust the false prophetess, New Agers, d divinators on YouTube. I'm warning you, time is short. Jesus is getting ready to come. And people are going to be left behind because of this nonsense. He doesn't want to leave you guys behind. You got to stick to the word of God. Stay away from the YouTube cult. Paul Marie yesterday on Spirit of Blessing spoke about it. Run far away. Jesus is angry at those who are giving unbiblical. There's no three days of darkness. There's no early glorification. There's no 48 repo harpist. There's no female 144,000. I seriously doubt <laughs> you have to be a virgin. I don't think I know of any virgins <laughs> in this day and age. Anyway, I'm getting off the subject. Please stick with the word of God. Stick with Jesus. Jesus is the one who's going to judge you. 
All men and women are going to be judged by Jesus Christ. Please stay with Jesus. He could be coming really soon. I'm warning you, please. If anybody's YouTube, don't fall for the seducing spirits on YouTube. Stay with the word of God, I beg you. Your eternity's at stake. Tribulation is going to begin soon. Don't be stuck here. Jesus loves you and wants to save you. I love you too, and I must go, but I think I've done all today what the Lord wants me to say. <sighs> Again, I'm going to leave on a positive note. The Lord gave me an encouraging rapture word last night that is, it could be very soon. I don't know when. No one knows when Jesus is coming, but keep your faith and keep waiting for Jesus Christ. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is soon to come. I love you. Look up. Your redemption still draws nigh. Maranatha. Bye-bye.